Now let's look at the course menu over here to the left. When you have edit mode set to on, you will see a little plus sign right above the menu. This allows you to add different types of menu items to your course menu. You'll see a drop-down list that gives you all the different options that are available. Students never see this little plus sign icon. This folder icon opens the menu in a new panel. This option makes it easy to navigate directly to anything in the course with just a few clicks. You can also refresh your menu or use the accessibility options for reordering menu items. Below these buttons is the actual course menu itself. Now I'm going to do a quick demonstration of adding a tool button to your menu and then reordering the menu. To add the tool button I click the add menu item plus sign. From the drop down I select tool link. Now I'm going to type in the title of the tool. This is the way the button will be labeled on the menu. Now from the tool type drop down I select the tool that I want the button to point to. I select course messages. Even though the full title of the tool is Course Messages, you can just type Messages in as the label. Be sure to click the checkbox to make this available to users so students will see it. Then click Submit. Notice that whenever you add a button to the menu, it always goes to the bottom of the menu. Now I want to reorder so that the Messages button is in with the other tool buttons on my menu. It's easy to reorder by dragging and dropping. Notice that as I mouse over buttons on the menu, little icons appear to the left and the right. To the left, there's an up and down pointing vertical arrow. To reorder a menu item, I just move my mouse right over this arrow, and it turns into a four-pointed cursor. Now, I left-click, hold the button down, and then drag the button up. And now I've reordered my menu. It's crucial that you understand that students can only navigate to content or tools in your course using the buttons on the course menu. They cannot see or access anything from the control panel down below. It's also important to remember that students only see buttons on the course menu that have been made available to students. So when you first begin working on building your course, you may need to show some buttons that are hidden by default. How can you tell if a menu button is hidden? Easy. Look for the little gray boxes to the right of the menu button labels. If the menu has a small gray box with a line through it, it means it's been deliberately hidden from students. In community college course templates, most of the buttons are hidden by default, so instructors must show them to students. To unhide a button, mouse over the button, and then click the little drop-down arrow. Select Show Link. Notice the gray box is now gone. Students can now see the menu button. If you need to hide a menu button from students, mouse over the menu button, click the drop down, but this time select hide link. Notice that I can also rename a link or delete the link from this drop down menu. If a menu is just an empty gray box, it means it leads to a content area that is currently empty. But as soon as you add any content at all to that page, the menu button will automatically display to students.